This is the first video in a series covering the Magnetrack Super Adaptive Positioning System. The video focuses on the operating principles of the Magnetrack Super Adaptive Positioning System as well as its fundamental advantages over the Magnetrack Interval Positioning System, the first implementation of the Adaptive Positioning Principle. For the description of the Interval Adaptive System, check the link on the screen. It would seem that the interval adaptive magnet track system advantages over the methods of fixed marking positioning make the system finished. High accuracy, easy deployment, low maintenance costs, flexibility, minimum repair kit, fault tolerance. What could be better? However, it's the super adaptive technology that follows the implementation of the anti adaptive positioning principle to its logical end. In fact, the super adaptive system outperforms the interval adaptive system to the same extent as the interval adaptive system outperforms the fixed marking methods. The mathematical model of the Magnetrack super adaptive positioning system dramatically differs from the concept of the interval adaptive marker system. The interval adaptive marker system operates sequentially. First, it identifies a marker, then it calculates a distance between the adjacent markers, thus creating the interval marker's track. The Magnetrack super adaptive positioning system has no information about the configuration of the magnetic marking. Its operation relies only on a chain of single magnets, which can be installed both as the interval as well as positioning markers, i.e. separate magnets, as it calculates the location of each magnet in the marking. The super-adaptive core analyzes the magnetic signatures of the space areas, consisting of the arranged set of the distances between all the magnets within the transducer active zone which calculates both positioning of the device and creating of the magnetic marking track. The Magnetrack Super Adaptive System saves all the advantages of the interval adaptive method, such as accuracy, flexibility, easy deployment, low maintenance costs and fault tolerance, yet takes them to the next super adaptive level. The basic advantages of the adaptive methods are demonstrated in our previous videos. For now, we'll focus on the new advantages of the super adaptive core. The first complete ordering of the chaotic magnetic marking. A magnetic track for the super adaptive core can be constructed by arranging the single markers almost randomly. The only condition is to install at least two magnets under the Baluv BTL transducer at each point of object's position, while the distance between these magnets cannot be less than the rated value, otherwise the transducer will detect them as one magnet. Device positioning and magnetic marking ordering takes place simultaneously and continuously during each cycle of position calculation. The system analyzes already available data on the magnetic marking, determines the current coordinate of the device and coordinates of new magnets in the marking, deletes absent magnets from the marking, and issues a warning if it detects a duplicate of the magnetic signature. The more magnets included in the stochastic marking of the track, the lower the chance of appearance of the magnetic signatures duplicates, and the higher the reliability of the system. In the constant adaptation mode, there is also a possibility of continuous chaotic reconfiguration of the track outside of the current position of the Baluv BTL transducer, i.e. the system is capable of continuous ordering of the chaos. The second, a single universal computation module for all types of the magnetic track marking. The previous generation of the Magnetrack adaptive system was focused on the specific type of track marking, for example, markings with two or three magnetic interval markers. 
the system should have had prior information about the number of the magnets in the interval marker, the minimum and maximum size of the marker, etc. The superadaptive system is unaware which magnetic constructions constitute the track marking. Its operation relies on a chain of magnets which create the unique signatures of the track's sections. The same universal adaptive algorithm is efficient for the track construction and monitoring of the markings with two or three interval markers, single magnetic markers or any combinations of them. Now, it can be seen that the superadaptive system can adapt to any type of the markers in the track marking, as well as to their space distribution, and that's where it got the prefix super. Increased capabilities for dynamic operations with duplicates in the track marking. The calculations you need of the Magnetrack superadaptive positioning system has a built-in module designed to deal with the duplicates in the magnetic marking. This module is sophisticated enough to operate in an extreme case with completely uniform marking, i.e. in the case when all the magnets are equidistant to each other. The system will work in the continuous mode before the power is turned off. Let's take a typical example, non-evident and unobvious duplication of the magnetic marking. With the interval adaptive system, if the interval marker has been significantly shifted within the magnetic track marking, it would be marked as shifted or duplicated since the system detects an already known marker signature on the new coordinate. Before the power is turned off, the system performs positioning using this marker accurately and correctly. However, when the transducer above the duplicated marker is turned on, the system outputs an error because its position is potentially dual. It's necessary to manually clear the indication of the shifted markers by an operator, thereby confirming that its new position is correct. The superadaptive core offers an automatic and more sophisticated solution. If any marker changes its position in space, the system just has to run over the new and previous positions of the given marker. While running over the new position, the system registers the duplicate in the system. But once the transducer reaches the previous position of the marker, the system determines that the marker is shifted and deletes the data of the previous position of the marker, thereby eliminating the signature's duplicates in the marking. That's why, in the case of mass changes of the marker's positions within a segment of positioning track, it's recommended to run the device over the entire magnetic marking before the power is turned off in order to clear the system of the data on previous positions of the interval markers. The fourth, improved fault tolerance of the system, three operational models of the positioning system. There are some frequently asked questions. What will happen to the system if a new magnet accidentally appears in the track marking? Or what is much more likely if any marker fails? The superadaptive system is designed for maximum reliability in managing such issues. The superadaptive core reacts identically to any, both authorized and unauthorized changes in the magnetic marking. Passing the change segment of the track, the system tries to include new magnetic signatures to the marking track. If new signatures are unique within the track, the system only generates a marking change log and continues positioning and maintaining the quality and reliability of the system which corresponds to the first operational mode. If new signatures create a duplicate, the system operator will be notified of this fact and the second, previously mentioned mode of dynamic cooperation with the duplicates will be activated. In the case, if there is only one remaining magnet under the transducer or any part of the trajectory, the system will switch to the third mode, emergency dynamic incremental mode, yet will continue positioning with possible slight precision loss. The incremental operational mode will be discussed separately in a video on the fault-tolerant magnetrack systems.
As can be seen from the above, the Magnetrack Super Adaptive System will fight for positioning to the end, autonomously choosing the most reliable positioning mode. In real time, the failure of positioning can occur only if there are no magnets under the transducer at all. The fifth, more flexibility in arranging the interval markers. The super adaptive system allows for even more flexibility in arranging the interval markers. With the interval adaptive system, the minimum distance between the markers is the length of the marker itself while the superadaptive system provides an opportunity to arrange the interval markers at distances not less than the minimum distance between the magnets in the marker. For example, if the minimum distance between the magnets is 200 mm and the length of the interval marker is 700 mm, the superadaptive system wins 500 mm for arranging the marker. In some cases, this can be extremely useful. The sixth, the Magnetrack system can be easily updated to super adaptive level. Any Magnetrack system, one with the fixed marking or the interval marker system, can be easily updated to the super adaptive system. It's sufficient to change the Magnetrack controller software by installing new super adaptive module. It is not required to change neither the marking nor the transducer. Moreover, both types of the system can coexist in the process controller if sufficient processing power is available. The Magnetrack adaptive system can be used to its fullest power with the Beluv BTL transducers of 7th series, which are capable to detect up to 16 magnets simultaneously. Patent law experts have determined that the adaptive positioning algorithm passes the requirements for invention. A corresponding patent application has been submitted.